At Cuyahoga Community College in Parma, President Obama accused the GOP of pushing bankrupt economic policies. The president laid out his plans to jumpstart the economy. News Channel 5's John Kosick joins us from Tri-C's campus with the highlights from the president's speech. Yeah, Leon, the president came to Northeast Ohio today to counter the comments made two weeks ago by House Minority Leader John Boehner, who called on the president to fire his economic team. Today, the president fired. Fire back at Boehner. Before this invitation-only crowd, President Barack Obama said this fight over the economy is a fight for middle America. I don't believe we can have a strong and growing economy without a strong and growing middle class. That can only happen through jobs, and he hopes to put Americans back to work by encouraging businesses to invest, grow, and through research and development, invent. I'm proposing a more generous, permanent extension of the tax credit that goes to companies for all the research and innovation they do right here in Ohio, right here in the United States of America. He also proposed a one-year, 100% tax write-off for all capital investment. And this will help small businesses upgrade their plants and equipment and will encourage large corporations to get off the sidelines and start putting their profits to work in places like Cleveland and Toledo and Dayton. Republicans argue the tax break is grave, but business owners still don't know what they'll be paying next year in taxes when the Bush tax cuts expire. The president challenged the Republicans back, agreed to a partial extension. We are ready this week, if they want, to give tax cuts to every American making $250,000 or less. That likely won't happen, but some businessmen we spoke with hope that other things discussed here do, especially making permanent the tax credit for R&D. It gives us more certainty going forward that that's always going to be there for us. And it's really one of those things that everybody wins with. Now, some economists, though, question whether or not these enticements will really be enough to uh, entice, if you will, these businesses to come off the fence and expand unless they are guaranteed that there is a demand for their product. Now, on the question of John Boehner and the Republicans, the president essentially challenged them today to either get on board or get out of the way. Reporting live in Parma, John Kosick, News Channel 5.